all eyes are on the battle over the balance of power in Congress. But it's the smaller, local-level races closer to home that political groups are zeroing in on. Anchor Natasha Zuvis is joining us now. So, Natasha, right-leaning groups specifically are pouring millions into school board elections. Oh, it's true, Nicole. School boards, the once nonpartisan local groups that dealt with hiring and firing school staff, setting curriculum, they are now the new battlegrounds. Money and organizational resources are being funneled into these races, and it's happening all across the country. Not an attack on people's personal choices and lifestyle, but a call to action for parents to say enough of this imposed fear of speaking out, especially when our children's lives are at stake. For two weeks, school board meetings in Dearborn, Michigan have been the latest in a series across the country where public speaking sessions are getting heated. This session over several LGBTQ plus books at school libraries shut down early. The sizable Muslim community says sexually explicit content is inappropriate for their children and doesn't belong in schools. But the hyperlocal debate is gaining attention from the state's Republican Party. It's kind of kind of interesting to see them now coming into Dearborn and um, courting our votes, which historically has not happened. It's we we do have some people who are in our community are concerned about this this book issue in Dearborn and um, are sort of being pushed into the hands of the GOP. Similar scenes are being repeated across the country, and there is a reason why. We are seeing that, um, you know, the parents' rights movement, even though it was once affiliated more with conservatives, it sort of has begun to um, include other, uh, you know, maybe people on the left as well who are just upset with the idea of a school board having more control than parents over children's education. So it's been fascinating to see money poured into these races. And and it's worked in Florida. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis endorsed 30 local school board candidates, 25 either won or advanced into a runoff with his help. We do that with every other race. And again, to me, it comes back to transparency. This is an issue about giving a voter as much information as you can about a candidate. In California, a program started by the Republican Party called Parent Revolt is focusing on recruiting Republican candidates to run for local education offices. In New York, a Republican political action committee says it's trying to reform public education by promoting patriotism. The site actively asks people to report schools that are teaching critical race theory. The tactic appears to be gaining ground in a moment where more and more parents want a say. A recent new News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll shows just over 90% of respondents say parents should have at least some control over their children's public school curriculum. Some, like this parent from Tennessee, liked it the way before school boards became polarizing and politicized. Now there's a side, whereas before it was like, these were our kids, these were our schools, this was something that we could all work on together. I mean, I, and it really just has flattened the conversation into like a right versus left. Now, if you're wondering where is the Democratic Party in all of this, well, we asked Julia Manchester with The Hill that question. She said she has not seen as much mobilization on the Democratic side when it comes to these school board elections. And when it comes to the parents' rights movement bubbling up right now, the Democratic Party has traditionally had a long symbiotic relationship with teachers' unions. Certainly a complex issue. For now, Nicole, sending it back to you. All right, Natasha, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.